D-I-G means look, D-I-G means stare, D-I-G means see, D-I-G means glare, D-I-G means to use your eyes, so dig, 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 you crazy guys. Well, box sets are today's topic, and I'm starting off with what would have to be the best box set I ever bought, which was the John Waters Very Crudely Yours collection. There was a British uh, version of this released as well, but it's short. I think there was only five films in it from memory. I could be wrong, but I'm sure it was only five, maybe six. Um, but they're all uncut prints issued by New Line Cinema. That's the NC-17 version of Pink Flamingos, along with a couple of other NC-17 films in it. And it's a fabulous collection and definitely worth purchasing. I've shown you this one before in the censorship rant that I did a little while ago <laughs> and um, it's the 1984 release by Palace of Pink Flamingos and obviously that's a very common cover but they did a trilogy along with Desperate Living and Female Trouble. You can usually pick those up um, on eBay every now and then in pretty shitty quality but this Pink Flamingos release is extremely rare. The cassette is in superb condition as you can see. Well, speaking of Palace, they actually did issue back in 1984 or 85, Flesh, Trash and Heat. I don't have any of those old Palace ones, but I did pick up, obviously, the DVD released by Force Entertainment. And um, it's a triple feature, just three discs in there. The blood of this horse is killing me. I just want my coffin back. Force Entertainment also released Flesh for Frankenstein and Blood for Dracula, a two disc set. And again, they're uncut. These films have never had censorship trouble here. And needless to say, I do have copies of the original Roadshow releases. There's Flesh for Frankenstein. I will do a video with some more early Roadshow releases soon. Probably in the next few weeks, I'll drag out a few other titles from Roadshow. And uh, Blood for Dracula. This is a great cover. Covering a few pink bits there. Nudity is very common on Australian video covers. Moving on to Umbrella Entertainment. And I thought it was worth putting in Suspiria in this video. It's a two disc set, um, not as good as obviously the Anchor Bay one. I don't know if you can make that out, but those veins are raised on the box. And I think Umbrella are definitely one of the best DVD releases in the world. And they're Aussie, yay! <laughs> but no booklets or anything, just the two discs with deluxe uh, packaging. And here is the original Aussie home video of Suspiria. It's never had any censorship trouble in this country and so there it is the old home video which is usually pretty easy to find on eBay Umbrella also bought us the Amicus box set all of these DVDs were sold separately um, but these are the ones that were put placed in the box set which is pretty much all of them how about that <laughs> I haven't watched any of these yet I got this only recently I paid $40 so it was heavily discounted at JB Hi-Fi so really good value for money I thought for that one Umbrella also released the Women in Prison 4 disc box set these are exact replicas of the North American releases and obviously just packaged for release in this country. The only difference is it's got umbrella trailers on the discs. Well, I love a bit of burlesque and the Betty Page collection is definitely worth buying in this box set. This is the um, five disc set with all these titles there. I don't know if you can see that, but there they are. Ridiculous ratings advice as usual. No uh, inserts, just the discs as you can see. Umbrella Still with the Sexadelic collection. It's usually pretty easy to find this at dirt cheap CDs for about $30, I think. And again, all these were released separately, but these are just the box set Radley Metzger collection. Radley Metzger is uh, a great um, filmmaker, and I really do enjoy his films, and that's definitely worth checking out. I'm not going to embellish too much with film reviews today, just showing you these, these things. Well, Russ Meyer, fabulous director, and I love his films. And one of my favourite films is Beneath the Valley of the Ultra Vixens. It's an awesome cover with Kit Natividad on the front there. And very busty women indeed, as you can see. 
and a couple of other films were released as I'll show you Faster Pussycat Kill Kill was another one that was released separately and we also have Up which is again is one of my favorite Russ Meyer films as well and I have to say that um, it was a surprise that they didn't put all these in together in the same box set but that's just what Madman Entertainment decided to do so I don't know why Deadly Weapons This is the story of Crystal. Something Weird video have a distributor in this country and they're released by Siren Visual Entertainment. This is one of their box sets of Double Agent 73 and Deadly Weapons. Again these were sold separately. Much cheaper to buy it in the box set. I mean that's, that woman is just incredible isn't she? Something Weird video box set again. This is collection number two with uh, all those films there as you can see. Now the first box set was the Blood Trilogy, obviously being Blood Feast, 2000 Maniacs and Color Me Blood Red. And collection number three of H.G. Lewis here from Something Weird is um, these ones here, Blast Up Girl, She Devils on Wheels and Just for the Hell of It. One of which is a double feature, which I'll show you, that one there. And that's the other one. Again, they were sold separately. Moving on to Blue Underground now, and this is the Mondo Carney collection and it's definitely worth the money. I can't remember how many they made of this but anyway this is a, an 8 disca and it's it's a great collection all uncut, the prints look really nice and if you can still find that I'd definitely pick that one up too and that, that's definitely worth the money. Picked up this blue underground Tufa thing here in Melbourne of Contraband and Conquest and it's not exactly a box set but well it sort of is but it, I definitely thought it was worth the money. It was quite cheap. It was less than $20 for that. I'm pretty sure I've shown you this one before. The Midnight Blue Collection Limited Edition was limited to 500 copies, I believe. Um, and this is the first five volumes. They've released a number six and a number seven. Must get a copy of those ones. Anyone who knows my channel reasonably well knows that I don't mind a bit of American smut. And I particularly like the period from the late 70s to early 80s of which Insatiable is smack bang in the middle. It's been given deluxe treatment on DVD and this is a definitive collector's edition of two disc which uh, two disco which has the theatrical and cable version with those weird split screen effects. Um, it's also got trailers, it's got a featurette, stills and all that sort of stuff. It's a fantastic release and the theatrical cut has been digitally remastered so it looks absolutely amazing and this is an absolute must purchase if you are a fan of Marilyn Chambers. She also does a commentary on the film as well so it's really interesting to get her insight so definitely check that. Moving on to Black Emmanuel's box this is volume one issued by Severin Films. It's a fabulous collection which funnily enough doesn't have Black Emmanuel <laughs> But it does have these other ones which have been released separately. It's worth mentioning too that some of those have been released in this country by Umbrella Entertainment. Surprise, surprise. It has a bit of a flap Velcro, but I can't open it because it obviously has Laura Gemza topless. But it's a fantastic release and it's got a bunch of lobby cards in the number one set here. Which I haven't opened, they're still shrink wrapped so I'm going to keep them uh, you know, sealed. I'm not going to open them. And I know director 0023 over in the Netherlands have shown you this one. This is number two with Black and White Emmanuel, Black Emmanuel 2 and Emmanuel and White Slave Trade. Great film. So I really liked um, the that one there. Fabulous film. And again a Velcro cover with a topless shot of Emmanuel, a.k.a. Laura Gemza. On to Criterion. They released I Am Curious. It's a two-disca with blue and yellow. Obviously the colours of the Swedish flag. And... Um, I'm sure this was very scandalous at the time, but today's standards is pretty, <laughs> well, wouldn't really raise an eyebrow, would it? So, but I can understand, look, times have changed. But bearing in mind, you know, this was only, Jesus, 45 years ago. So it's, <laughs> some things never change. But that's a fabulous uh, collection there from Criterion. The Criterion collection of Videodrome is an absolute must-have. It's fantastic. The uh, film has been digitally remastered. The box itself is fabulous. It's like some Betamax tape, but it's probably about the same size as Betamax too. Or probably a bit bigger actually. But has a booklet and um, the two discs as well. So I'm planning another update on my Canadian VHS collection. 
and so oh and DVDs as well so stay tuned for that I've got a couple of really rare Australian home videos of Canadian films like Tanya's Island and Death Weekend so stay tuned for that one coming soon thanks for watching